Hello, uh, today we're going to go through this soft synth. It's a free beat. Um, it comes with the Mac and the, or for the Mac and PC. Um, and I had a request in one of my videos. I, I did a quick playthrough of this just to kind of advertise the fact that this was out there and, and I really liked the quality of the sound. Um, and what, uh, what I got was a request to do a tutorial on it. Now, um, I'm not a subtractive synth expert. I know enough to get by. Um, but I couldn't find the manual on this on, on the, the web so I'm going to share what I know if it's useful for somebody um, as I say uh, I'll, I'll do my best and I'll, I'll split it across a couple of videos or two or three videos um, just so it doesn't take me forever to upload the thing so initially when you get it um, you, you think uh, sorry let's, you think that's your main list of presets so enough but not bad but actually if you click on load there's a whole load of more presets waiting for you to have you know a good old play with um, now this it can sound really fat and it's just got a whole variety of different sounds <laughs> So this it just screams kind of classic analog synth. Um, it begs to be used in electro. Um, can be used in house. It just just really really good good synth. Um, so anyway, we we all know that I like it. Um, what I quite like in the the preset section is uh, preset section is that it, it gives you like a description of what the, the how it was made, what what to use it for tells you how all the little modulations work so, so I think that's pretty good anyway we'll use this classic pad because it's fairly basic <coughs> and it allows to go through some of the functions so the first one to kind of just point uh, that, that would be useful for you is this voice stacking so you can either have just like one lot of the two oscillators playing at one time or you can have four sorry two three four five all the way up to eight now once you start getting six seven eight that it's gonna it's gonna sound really fat but it's also gonna really hit your processor as well and the best way to sound hear its effect is to start detuning oscillators because um, what will happen is they'll all detune by about this amount against each other so it, let <laughs> So voice stacking is um, a very good way to kind of uh, lose CPU pr pr uh, processing power um, but to get your sound really nice and thick and fat. So you get two oscillators, if I turn down this mixer section, I'll show these other sections in a bit, but um, oscillator one goes from sine wave through to triangle, through to square, sorry, through to saw wave all the way through to square wave. All very classic kind of subtractive synth uh, uh, waveforms. Then I can bring in oscillator two. Uh, this is. I can tune oscillator two against oscillator one. And this up here will tell me where I'm going. So you go, so for one, like a classic sort of fifth sound. Or you know, I can tune octave, so whole octave above um, and I can modulate the tuning so if I modulate it by an LFO this is either an, a negative modulation or a positive modulation and because I'm using an LFO what will happen is this tune button will affect you won't see it but this is what it will be doing so you 
based on LFO2, sorry. <laughs> It's going to be good for some effects and things like that. Um, that's too extreme for what we're trying to achieve here. Um, okay, I can bring in a sub oscillator to make it, you know, nice and fat. Can bring in some noise, um, and I, this button here or this this kind of uh, knob here will take me from white noise to pink noise, and hear really what it sounds like. Put a high pass filter on it and I'll show you what I'm doing in a in a separate video. So that's gonna give you some classic riser sounds to work with. Um, That's my oscillator one, oscillator two, noise. Ring modulation um, is, uh, well, it, the, the ring modulator kind of multiplies two si signals together um, and the effect should be sort of classic Dalek. Now the ring modulator on this, I may not be setting it up right, but I don't get the really clangy, um, I, I can, you can get some nasty sounds, but not like a proper clangy dalek -y sound that I was expecting to get. So this would be multiplying oscillator one and two's output together. So you can kind of hear something's happening, but that's not the expect the effect the effect I would expect from kind of a ring modulator. What ring modulators normally do, just using one of Logic's effects, um, is let's see if you use this. Uh, modulation ring shifter is effectively a ring modulator if you pick the right preset what I'd be expecting to get so I'm not sure why we're not getting something like that um, but it's, it's having some kind of effect but for these particular sounds that I've been using not very much of a one okay I'm going to stop this video here next one we'll go into the filter section how we achieve some of these modulations how we use the matrix and and the kind of um, our envelopes as well so I'll see you in the next video cheers <laughs>